guys i am back with another video and today i'm going to be using products that have lots of skin loving ingredients most of them are affordable and this is just going to be a really quick simple beat you know it's not not going to be anything complicated i'm not even sure if i'm going to use lashes but if i don't remember all of the ingredients i'm going to put it on the screen okay because i really want you all to know what a lot of these products offer so as you know with makeup, you gotta do your skincare. So I have the so I have the Glow Primer and Serum, and this is the Hydro Boost by Neutrogena. And you all know that they are notorious for, you know, making products. Even their eyeshadow palettes have good ingredients. So I'm just gonna put a little there, and I'm just gonna pat it on my skin. And as far as the SPF, the SPF is in the foundation that I'm going to use and these particular products will be extra helpful or uh, beneficial to the person that has normal to dry skin because all of it is super hydrating. So I'm just going to go in with my foundation and this is the number seven, you know I should know all this part, this is the number seven Lift Illuminate Triple Action Serum and since I'm only going to apply a little this entire look let's say you wanted to repeat it at home it wouldn't take you long at all I'm gonna start off with a stippling brush uh, to apply my foundation and this foundation may be reading a little cool uh, if so that's okay <laughs> we will work with that I feel as though I don't need as much on my forehead so remember whenever you're applying your your makeup always less is more okay if you have problem areas just try to kind of put it on that area if that's the look that you're going for if you're going for one of those you know makeup makeup looks or but if you're going for a beat hey you can go to town so I'm going to just go ahead and take my sponge and just kind of you know blend that out and you can see how how hydrating my skin is. I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyes because I don't think I'm going to add eyeshadow. I might put a little bronzer in here. As you can see, I do have darkness right here and like darkness right there on my chin, like hyperpigmentation. And I just kind of want it covered a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to go back in with the sponge and this feels really good. You know, now that I've applied the hydrating serum and primer, then I have a illuminating serum foundation. And this is what I'm going with. I'm not going with that like overly done look. Now, what I am going to use is this concealer by NYX. This is kind of... You'll notice that it's kind of my skin color. So let me go in with this and I'm going to add this right under my eyes like this. If you don't have darkness, you definitely don't have, you know, need to add it. And you know, I gotta be surprised, I am surprised at this uh, concealer by NYX because this has got some cool ingredients in it. A lot of times you'll find that what it used to be I haven't been I haven't shopped for a drugstore makeup in, uh, well with the other day but sometimes it's kind of hard to find a, um, a drugstore concealer that has more than three uh, ingredients in it that are going to be beneficial you know if I'm wrong let me know it's just it's kind of hard and I think that this NYX foundation is definitely like that plus it's full coverage so with me that's always a win I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and you know if you're trying to do your look in the morning like some some women don't do this the concealing of the eyes 
that's gonna make the process go that much quicker. All right, so see how everything's coming along? And I feel as though I want it a little bit brighter. I know you're like, girl, it's bright enough. I have this serum by Sephora, and it's got some cool ingredients in it as well. I used to use this a lot when I started my uh, channel years ago because it was so good so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and blow this out just to have a little bit more of a highlight it's so funny how you know some women hate it so either you hate it <laughs> or you love it and all of these products just kind of blend in really well they blend so well together but the lightness is gonna be, it's gonna get a little muted once I add the powder. So I'm just gonna add that there. Make sure you're blending all of your stuff, all of your products really well. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. Let's go in with some bronzer. And I have a bronzer by Pacifica. And I really like it. I think it's I think it's a good shade for me. So in my drugstore, this was the darkest that they had. I don't know if online it's any better. And I always like to kind of go get it in my hairline a little bit. I used to hate doing that, but sometimes you can see the line if you don't get it real good. Okay, let's go put a little here. And then I'm gonna go back in with another brush. This is a clean brush and just kinda buff out the perimeter. And it hasn't been that long and I'm almost finished. I'm not gonna do the most with the brows. definitely don't have to. So I feel as though that is working for me. And it's just not doing a lot of creasing. Have you, can you kind of notice that? It's so pretty. So I am going to like set the lid and the under eye just a little bit. I was going to use the Photo Candid powder. This is one powder that um, has some antioxidants in it and that's supposed to be good for the skin. I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm looking for it. I had it on my uh, vanity. I hate it when I can't find stuff on my vanity. It's so irritating. <laughs> I'm going to set it with the Sephora uh, powder. This powder is very finely milled. Sephora is like really popping with their products. I have to say that with Sephora, I do get a little irritated because as soon as I buy something, it's discontinued. They go on with the next thing. <laughs> I'm like, slow down. And because I want that illuminating look, I don't think I'm gonna use any more powder. I am gonna use this butter blush. Butter. Uh, this is a blush. Butter blush. I think that's what it's called. I have to look. And it also has pink in it, so I guess it could serve as a highlighter and a blush. But I'm just gonna put.
And remember, if you're putting on your makeup and you feel as though you've overdone it, oh my God, go back in with your sponge or uh, your brush, however you applied your, your makeup, go back in with that and that, would, that should totally fix it. And look how my face is coming together, okay? And I almost feel as though I could stop here, but I am going to take a brush Okay, and just kind of blend out where I put that powder. For the brows, where's my pen? I'm going to use a, a felt tip pen. I don't have one. I guess that has all of those magical ingredients, so I'm just going to use this one. I'm just going to add a few little hairs, that's it. Just a few. And I know you're like, just a few, you're still adding the hairs. <laughs> okay. So now for mascara, I'm just going to add a little bit of that. And this is an expensive one by Shantakai. This is the only one that I found or that I own that does have helpful ingredients in it, things that are going to be beneficiary to you. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of this. And I have no lashes. That's why most of the time you see me wearing lashes. I almost feel like this is like a, almost like a five or ten minute beat, because I'm just about through. I can just get these little lashes looking like they supposed to look. Good. <laughs> I don't have any. Okay, and next is the lipstick. Lipsticks can be really <laughs> difficult. Okay, I'm just going to get one, let's see, or the dramatic color, I'm not sure, I'm just going to do a muted color, like a brown. I know you're like, oh my God, that's so dark. I had a friend that was like, oh my goodness, I would never, I hate brown lipstick. When I was growing up, my mother used to wear, it reminds me of lipstick. My mom used to wear uh, when I was growing up. really dark but that's okay so this is the final look I added a little gloss okay I hope you like it let me know down in the comments if you try any of these products and you like them or if you try them and you hate them let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches Whew.